Hi, this is Paul from ExpertTrading.com and this is a quick tutorial for the new version, the Ninja Trader version of our bias depth heat map. Uh, it's a sub chart and it looks at uh, six different time frames. So when we're on scalping at the moment, for this in this example, it will go up six time, time frames and tell you what that bias is on those different time frames. Uh, and then we, we put that as a heat map so you can see a yellow is neutral, red is bearish and green is bullish. So no matter what type of um, signal generator that you're using, indicator suite, whether it's expert algo, the roller coaster, Elliott wave or anything like that, this is your go no go gauge. So it really confirms that signal. And if it doesn't confirm the signal, you just don't take it. Um, so let's go through this as an example of um, ES on the one minute scalping. You see down here, uh, here it's, on the, it's on the scalping setting. Uh, we get a six star buy on the expert algo here. All six time frames are green bullish. You're going to go long. It does pull back, but look at the manager keeping this into the trade here and then eventually taking us out for profit. Then we get a six star sell. All of the time frames are not red. We don't take it. We ignore it. And then look what happens. It turns around. We get a six star buy signal now on the expert algo. All of the six time frames that it's going up on are all bullish bias. You take the trade and that's where you go. So let's have a look at another example. OK, so this is a Forex, this is a forex example. And uh, this is the sort of time where we don't take trades so we can see down here we've got a mixture of green uh, amber and red when we go to New York gold for US dollar CAD on our range breakout the actual range is yellow and we can see here we've got green yellow and red so we don't take either trade coming out there even this long out here we don't take because we've not got any confirmation it's only until we get to the European session here <clears throat> the green for the range is there and it's saying you know take the longs but look at the bias depth here we're only halfway through on that bias that bullish bias so we don't take the trade look at it comes back down then on the London we get an amber so we don't take a trade but look now as we start to come back down through that original uh, New York gold um, opening range from Friday all of the bias turns red all six time frames so this is now the time to trade that um, that particular range breakout strategy so have a look at another example okay so this time we're using ES with a roller coaster and we are again we're looking for those confirmations so this is um, this is using uh, the, the 5000 volume chart on ES, uh, which is pretty good on the uh, roller coaster here. Uh, but again, it, it, this shows you when and when not to take the trade, the go, no go gauge. So at this point here on Friday, we got a signal uh, to go long. All of the time frames were bullish. Uh, we had a, a big depth here of bullish bias, and we took the trade, and it was a great trade. Uh, eventually took out a trading stop at this point. And then this roller coaster then looks for shorts. But look here, even though we get the signal, we have got a total mixture on the bias depth heat map here. We've got green, amber, red, amber. Don't take the trade. We come back up on the roller coaster. We're looking for a long trade here. The bias depth is confirming that in all of those six time frames it's looking up on are bullish. So we take the trade. Again, it keeps you out of danger. So this is one more example. Uh, I'm on the swing trading setting now on the bias depth heat map. Uh, this is into on the daily time frame. Uh, so stocks, uh, we've got the wave four pull back into here. Uh, when we look at the, the Elliott wave, this is a good looking fifth wave trade. But how, how can we get that entry? When we pull him back on this wave four, we can see we've got red, amber, green all in there. As it starts to move away, we're starting to get more and more go green. And on this candle here, this green candle, the bias depth heat map, which is looking up from the daily time frame, uh, it's looking up all of those time frames, <coughs> higher time frames, and it's saying this is bullish. That's when to get that entry for that swing trade on into. 
We also get a six star buy on the expert algo. Again, it's telling you on the buyer's depth that all time frames are bullish and then there you go. So that trade continued to go until the manager took us out at 662. That entry there was 552. Okay, so $110 move there. Confirmation is the important thing there. Very, very, very important. Let's have a look at one more. So one more look at this time is uh, back to the Forex pairs because we saw on the US dollar CAD uh, that we did earlier that, that there was absolutely no trading opportunities. But on the, on the flip side, we can also see with certain strategies that it's a, it, it, you get that no brainer type thing. We get this European open here, everything's green. We get the London, all six time frames are green. These opening range trades are very, very strong when we've got that bias depth. Uh, given us that confirmation and look at that move from there so again we it's a, the the go no go gauge this is a definite go when you've got that mixture of amber red and green and it's not confirming when you get that signal candle or that signal strategy uh, then you just don't go so hopefully this helps speak to you all really soon